Spring is here and it's time to tend to your garden. But before you plant, it might be wise to visit one of Santa Barbara's public water-wise demonstration gardens. These gardens offer insight to the best methods of gardening both in being water-wise and beautiful. We rely on water conservation to get us through dry times. So whether we've had a really rainy year like this year or drier years like in the past, water conservation is always extremely important. We have a limited source of water supplies and water conservation, when we save that water, gets us through the drier times. One big area of water use is landscaping. Over 50% of the water used in residential use goes to irrigating landscapes. And by having a water-wise garden, that reduces the amount of water used in the landscape significantly. There are many demonstration gardens in Santa Barbara area that specialize in water-wise plants. The City Water Resources Division has partnered with Parks and Recreation Department to sponsor the low water using demonstration garden of Alice Cut Park Memorial Garden. And the reason why Water Resources is partnering and is committed to this garden is the amazing beauty and diversity that it shows of what a water wise garden can be. In our particular garden here we have many water wise plant material that's been planted in this particular park. They are derived from the Mediterranean, they're derived from beautiful Santa Barbara. There's an amazing depth and color palette and array of different kinds of plants in this portion of the park that is the low water using demonstration garden. The garden was set up in regards to east and west, north and south, and when you go onto the Garden Street side, it's considered a shady area, and you can get examples there for folks that in their backyard, their front yard, if it has a northern exposure, you can see the plant material that's being used for that area there. As you go further through uh, Mitch Serenda Street, we have what's known as our sunny beds. And in regards to that, you would be able to see uh, rosemary plants, other succulents, uh, palm trees. In regards to uh, the bed wall behind me, you get to see an array of different types of bulbs that, that flower in the spring that are readily available at our local nurseries. In the park, there's a guide map and a small kiosk that has pamphlets that contain alphabetized lists of the park's water-conserving plants. Each plant is marked by a numbered stake. By cross-checking the list, you can easily find the plant and obtain information about it. It's really just a great place if you're interested in water-wise plants in your garden to come and get an example and then take away a plant list where you can mark off on that list these are the plants that I like. These are the ones I think will work in my garden, whether you have a shady area or a sunny area or a dry creek bed. There's just a lot of diversity and great examples. Yeah, we designed it in such a manner that anybody within the city who has a residential home or commercial site that would like to mirror this garden, they could easily do that. Water-wise plants use a significant less amount of water than kind of traditional higher water using plants like lawn or more um, water intensive plants. And you can have as just as much beauty and diversity with these plants. And that's why we have this demonstration garden is to come and see. And this time of year, it's just fantastic. Beautiful flowers, so much going on, butterflies and smells and I really urge you to come down here to the Alice Keck Park Memorial Garden to see how beautiful it is and what great examples of water-wise plants there are here. The Firescape Garden is another area where water-wise plants are on display. It is located on the corner of Mission Ridge Road and Stanwood Drive across the street from Fire Station 7. This garden is a very good example of what homeowners can do to provide great landscaping that with plants that are both drought tolerant and plants that are suited for living in the high fire hazard area. This firescape garden has been set up as an example of the different plant types that homeowners can use to beautify their yard and landscape to make their home more fire safe. How the firescape garden has been set up is it's a really nice area that homeowners can come and visit and walk through to get an idea of what type of plants we're looking for. The firescape demonstration garden is sectioned into four zones and each zone represents different types of vegetation, each planted with a specific purpose in mind. 
The garden uses firewise landscaping techniques as well as waterwise plants to visually demonstrate to homeowners firewise landscaping concepts. As an added benefit for helping homeowners increase their landscaping and beautify their homes and actually take the plants that they see here at the Firescape Garden and implement those into their own garden, the Firescape Garden has provided every plant here with a name tag that shows their scientific name and then also the more common name. So homeowners have the ability to go back to their computers and Google search these plants. They have the ability to take it down to their local garden center or nursery and find out more information about the plants and talk to their local landscapers and sort of do research on their own so that they can go back. They know what plants they are and they can use those plants. The El Estero Recycled Water Demonstration Garden is a demonstration garden set up specifically for professional landscapers who are designing gardens and choosing plants that are irrigated with recycled water. The El Estero Demonstration Garden is sort of a work in progress. Basically each time something is rebuilt then we're able to go in and landscape it. So we have different sections. We have the Australian section, we have the South Africa section, we have the California native section, so they're all Mediterranean zones, which means they're low water using plants. And uh, we just sort of want to test out all these different plants to see how they do on recycled water and then invite any landscape professionals down here to see how well it does if they are going to be incorporating uh, recycled water in their landscaping. We also, up around the administration building, we have a lot of lawn and that's always been on recycled water and that's doing well. And we have a pond too with some pond plants and that's on recycled water and that's always been doing really well. Recycled water is being used at many sites in Santa Barbara, including parks, the zoo, schools, golf courses, and the Arroyo Borough Estuary. We've had great success with recycled water all over the city here at the demonstration garden. This is more of a demonstration garden for landscape professionals, not so much for the public because it just showcases the different plants that we can have on recycled water. And we've had a lot of success here. The plants really like it. Because um, one thing about recycled water that it has higher nitrogen and phosphorus levels than potable water, which is basically plant food. It's like fertilizer mixed into the water. And so we have a lot of success with plants. Also down at Arroyo Borough Beach, there's a restoration site there where a couple years ago they did half the site with recycled and half the site with potable to see how the California natives did. And there was no difference between the two and so they switched the whole site to recycled water. You can also learn about water-wise plants by visiting the Santa Barbara Botanical Garden. This year, in an effort to promote California native plants, the Santa Barbara Botanical Garden partnered with the California Native Plant Society to sponsor a native plant garden tour. This is the starting spot for the native plant garden tour. Um, it's a tour of 25 sites in Santa Barbara all the way to Thousand Oaks, starting here in Goleta, of gardens that feature at least 50% California native plants. The self-guided tour gave many of those interested in California native plants a keen insight to their affordability, ease, and beauty. By using plants that are indigenous to the area and accustomed to Santa Barbara's semi-dry climate, we have plants that grow happily with minimal watering. We want to show off using natives in landscapes and how they can help save water, look beautiful, help bring wildlife to your garden, and just their general well-being in the landscape and how they can beautify local gardens. So, before you go to the local nursery, make a visit to one of Santa Barbara's beautiful and informative water-wise demonstration gardens. You'll be surprised by the numerous and beautiful water-wise plant flora that can be found in one of these demonstration parks.